Do, do, do. Welcome back, Captain. Thank you. Did everything go okay? I mean, it seems to have taken a bit more time than expected. Yeah, I know. I got stranded down there for a while. Okay, let's see. Boop. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's this done? Just uh, dismantle it, then I guess. So what you gonna eat, then, Diggy? Anything planned? Question is how long were we there, by the way, now? Uh, trade information, my item sell. Shukshuka. <laughs> I'll probably take something before then. Um, hmm. Yummy. The capital wall in this region, the government of Lyme is the owner and operator of the powerful and controversial Space Gate. There are rumors that Lyme is secretly letting the Union use the Space Gate to move troops to the Space Fleet sector. Well, let's go there and see what we can do. Meanwhile, General Everton's battle cruise to the outer limits of the Great Void. Sir! Yes, Rob. Oh. What is all this? Ah, oh, this is bad! Don't act stupid, Rob. You know what all this is? Sir, I do, but I don't understand. What, Rob? What don't you understand? It looks like you are preparing your final transformation, sir. That is correct. But we haven't located a sufficient power source yet. Not correct. No? No. I have been searching through the communication logs between Space Fleet and Epsilon. Some time ago, Space Fleet tried to transport three fuel cells from Epsilon to Earth. Oh? It was a desperate attempt to stop the Union. It failed. Now, if I want to obtain a fuel cell, I need to get to planet Earth. How can you know that? I have a strong suspicion that one or more of those babies are heading towards Earth's uh, Oedipus station as we speak. Oh, I see, but... But what, Rob? Why are you going through with the operation before we have secured one of those fuel cells? Simple.
It takes a long time to recover from this surgery. Oh my. Is that machine, is that the machine that you're going with? Yes, it is the clean cut master from cloaked and covert a corp. And Rob, after this surgery, I will be somewhat crippled. I will be needing a wheelchair from some time for some time and won't be able to command the ship as well as before. I am appointing you temporary captain on this ship. Uh oh, I'm very honored, sir. Good. I will need you to take us straight to Earth. I don't want to miss an opportunity to get me with one of those fuel cells. Oh, of course, sir. Right away, sir. Meanwhile, back in the Penn Station, Ortiz. What just happened? Give me a status report. Union attack being seen to have changed somewhat, Commander. How do you mean changed? Well, I'm not sure, but our shields are no longer blocking it completely. The beam has started to slowly drain our power. What is the time frame here? Fortunately, it's a very slow drain right now. If it doesn't increase, we should be able to have our shields up for at least a couple of months. I understand. Contest Space Fleet Headquarters and keep them updated on our status. Yes, Commander. So did you say, Captain? Yes, ship. Yes, one of you have arrived at our destination. Okay, thank you. Do 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 do. He's doing his yoga thing. Hmm. Alien square trade post. What the? <clears throat> Square contact tourist agency alien square. This is Rex speaking. How may I help you? What planet is this? Oh, I was passing by when I saw this space gate commercial. Ah, yes, the space gate. What do you want to know? Can I get all the way to Earth through it? Well, no, you can reach the space fleet outer barrier through the gate, though. That jump will save you an average of uh, 150 days, depending on your engine efficiency. How do I get a ticket? If you are not registered with an interplanetary trading company, you don't. So there's no way for me to, uh, as a private traveler to obtain a ticket through the space gate. Not through the official channels, no. Okay, thank you. What plan is this? <clears throat> You're orbiting in the great planet of Lyme. And you have just contacted a tourist agency of Alien Square. Alien Square? Yes, Alien Square. Passing city center of Lyme City. It's the heart of the commercial trade system in this sector. Why is it called Alien Square? The name refers to the many different species who started to trade from this location many centuries ago. Nowadays, it's a thriving business center for trade and services. Okay, gotta go. Have a nice day. Stay post. Contact. Yeah. Where am I? What the frick are you talking about? I haven't got a clue where the hell you are. I need to overcook, man. I was just a bit unclear of what this place is. You have contacted Toxic Hill. We are a trade station. Okay, so how would I go about if I want to trade with you? What do you mean? Just get down here. Okay, thanks. Whatever. Don't you bother to call here anymore. Don't you shut this radio off once and for all. I had enough of these stupid questions all the time. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Alien Square first. 
We need to find, uh, get a, <clears throat> become a trading company of some sort. Get myself a cookie. Need that sugar. Mm -hmm. There's nothing useful right inside this one. This one, then. Thing that one out. Customs worker. Welcome to the line, sir. You're about to enter a trade free zone. Trade free zone? What does that mean? It means that you are recording to trade regulation 3A required to. Temporarily give up your belongings of type C or higher while within the zone of no trade. Let's take a look at the check in screen here and we will explain the details to you. Okay. Uh, items to store. Accept. Thank you, sir. You're now free to enter. What the freaking heck is that with a statue? Guess it's a reminder that the shell garage is on the other side of the trade border. Is that the guy who boarded my ship and kidnapped Jeff? I think it's an inform informational for Lyme and its superior government. An advertisement for something that has something to do with the number 42. Fresh can. Lots of empty cans. Just that I will get two credits for each of the these are recycled. King K. The thing is a uh, doomsday machine. Hmm. You do see that, don't you? Hey, if you're selling something, I'm not interested. I'm only selling the truth, good sir. And the truth is death. People will die if you don't dismantle this monstrosity. I think you should leave before I call the cops. Listen to me. The space gate will be our doom. Hey man. I've seen your orange freaks walking the streets outside with your plaques and prophecies. And to be honest, you annoy me. I know you're only a simple barman, but... Hey. Who are you calling simple? Get out now or I'll serve you as snacks for my paying customers. Okay, okay. I'll leave, but you don't say I didn't warn you. Out! Bye 
Bye. Drumroll packing of floorboard prime league number thirty three. Ricky Van Volkens Winkel. Make out what it is. But look of it, it has been in here for quite some time. Flying King. This one. It's a picture of the well built man with the text The Captain 75. The all time greats. It's a team photo of some old men and women. Some silhouettes uh, playing football. Looks like someone took a piece of leather and framed it. That's from a football. A photo with a signature on it. In really bad shape, I can't really read it. Print picture of a stadium. Looks old. Toilet looks surprisingly clean. The water faucet, it is dripping. Somebody is out. How are you doing there, sir? Um, okay, yes. My name is Thomas Wellman. I am... Uh, Clementine? Uh, no, Thomas. Uh, okay, then. Tender. What do you know about the space gate? I guess as much as the next guy. How would you go about getting a ride through it? I wouldn't. Space gate is a transport system for big companies and government personnel. These days it's busy shipping union ships to the war raging in the neighboring cluster. So I can't personally buy one? No, I'm afraid not. How would someone go about raising a minor fortune for a space uh, gate ticket in this town? I wouldn't know. You could talk to Mr. Brog over in the corner. He is always bragging about how easy it is to strike it rich in the city. Uh, do you know anything about the exhibition over at uh, Pi? That's what I heard in the commercials. Uh, what is that? But they're showing their new prototype for a space jumping. Mm -hmm. Can I get some drink? Sure. What do you have to offer? Well, today I can offer you a brew of your choice from my impeccable assortment of award winning beers. Oh, you got my attention. Please give me a suggestion. Oh, how about a bottle of the phenomenal bright brew, Old Man's Kiss? Yeah, sure, sounds good. Great, coming right up. That'll be two credits. Here you are. Good night, 
sé. Hi there, hi there yourself, handsome. package hi my name is Thomas how are you I'm beautiful thank you I'm new in town I had some questions about this place as long as you ain't working for no cops I will be happy to help you great you know anything about the space gate the space gate sure I do what you want to know how does the space gate, space gate work? You know? I'm not that interested in technology. All I know is that it's a portal that takes you from one spot in space to another. I'm interested in getting a ticket to ride the space gate. Well, how desperate are you? Very beautiful. I love desperate people. It fits my business model. Perfect. You see, I'm working for a small organization, if you would like. My boss is a very influential man. He has a lot of connections and sometimes uses the sea space gate for um, organizational purposes. I guess I could arrange a sit down with him if you are really desperate. Who is your boss? Not other than Mr. Bossman himself. Who? You're kidding, right? No, I don't know who he is. He's the big guy standing as a statue outside the bar. Oh, he's quite an important man then. He's the founder and owner of the universally known Tower 65 Corp. Oh. Let's just say he makes things go smoothly around here. And that you do not want to disappoint him. Ah. I see. So how can I contact this boss of yours? Yeah, that's a golden question. You see, we don't just let anyone go up and see the boss. He's way too busy for that to work. So, I have a suggestion for you. If you prove yourself worthy to me first, then I will see what I can do. What do you mean by worthy? I have three small tasks I need you to do for me. If you deliver on that, I consider you worthy. If I help you, you will help me get through the space game. As sure as I'm sitting here. Tell me about the first task. I just need a small package delivered. What do you say? Will you help me with that? Sure, it sounds harmless. Great. Take the package on the table to the green guy hanging out in the lobby of Tower 65. Delivery man. Hmm. Reservation station. We can travel to a hard one. That's your plan. I'm a kind person, I'm kind to everyone, but if you're unkind to me, then kindness is not what you will remember me for. I'll phone Green Bean Bossman. This poster, Space Gate to aid in war effort. Use the evening at 20... 100... 20... 100... Ministers of Foreign Affairs must say peace meant to clear that the Limian government would support a union by opening up Space Gate for troop transport. The image depicts the Space Gate photo taken by the Galileo G. Hey there! Hi, where can I get you? You have. 
Yeah, the newspapers they get sold us. Okay. Um, I don't want to buy anything right now. Can't. 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 Faith musician. I don't want to disturb him while he's playing. Recycling machine. It's a large recycling machine. There's pictures of differently shaped cans you can process. I think it will pay me for each can I feed it. Money. The heck was that? And yeah, that didn't sound too good. Sax played it. Man. Hey, are you the guy who's waiting for a package? I don't know. Who are you? I'm Thomas Wellman, I'm a captain of space. Hey, I don't need your life story, man. You have something for me? Oh yeah, I have this package from... Hey, stop talking. You have something to give you, send it over. This is from Rog. I see. Did you open the package? No, no, no. I would never do that. Good. Thanks. Now, get lost. Itch and helper wanted. Dressing screen could be where employees change outfits. <clears throat> Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you today? Mm, he's going in. Okay, let's go to back and let's see what the um, second job can be on. Spin. One empty can. That's not gonna help us. I think this is a few spokes for the street lights. We will not touch this. Deliver the package yet? Yes. That's great. Come back to me when you're ready for the second assignment. I'm ready. What's the second task? Yes, I need some information. We suspect that one of our friends on the street is leaking information to the planetary police. I want you to find out who it is and also secure some hard evidence of it. You want me to expose an undercover cop? Pig. Undercover pig. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. So how about it? Sure, I'll do it. 
Great. We currently have three friends on the payroll working here at Alien Square. First one is a gentleman called Dank. He's a big bloke selling papers and sodas. So. Um, and okay, he's a big bloke selling papers and soda in the small stand next to the magnificent statue of Mr. Bossman. Two other suspects are Liana Fleeman and her psychic Corbin. Gonna work somewhere on Alien Square. You can ask Dank about her. He usually keeps track of her. But Corbin, I have no idea where he is. But he has a ponytail and usually wears an ugly brown leather jacket. I'm not supposed to flush out the dirty one. I don't know these people. That's why you're perfect. Someone they haven't seen before. But they won't exactly trust me on site, will they? No problem there. We have a sick ecosystem in place to simplify communication between us. Let's walk up to them and say reindeers like to eat bananas. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, that's our code for the moment. Reindeers likes to eat bananas. Impregnable! Any suggestion on how I would go about revealing the guilty one? I guess you could try to plan some false information and see how they react. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, come back when you know who it is. Sure. Oh boy. Uh, Reindeers likes to eat bananas. Oh, you're one of us. Yeah, he has got recruited. That's nice. Welcome aboard. I guess you want to see the exclusive selection of my unsorted merchandise? Let's see now. I currently have a beautiful duplication of the well-known Blue Hearts necklace. One unused unit of the brand new listening device EarBody 2000 Government Edition. Anything you find interesting? I think I pass for the moment on those items. These items. Okay, no problem. Anything else? Um, have you heard the latest rumor? No. There's going to be a large shipping of stolen goods arriving at the North Bay in about an hour. There are always shipments coming and going to the line of city. Uh, do you know Liana or Corbin? Yeah, of course. Do you know where they are? Hmm. Corbin seems to be off somewhere. His spot is usually over there at the alley, just past the Tower 65. Liana should be in her office. 
And car number one on the golden rail. Central Bank is rumored to lower next year's mortgage interest. Yeah, so. Okay. Sir, you're not from around here, are you? Not really. Are you a cop? Of course not. Haha, uh -huh, no, I can see that. But when you junk to sell, excuse me, junk? Yeah, you know, jewelry, fancy watches, junk. You have something? Maybe I'm interested in buying. Do you buy anything? No, of course not. Got to have street value. You need to be able to make a profit selling it later on, you know? Might have something to sell. Yeah, what do you got? Second fort, I think I keep my stuff for now. Well, you know where to find me if you change your mind. Okay, so that was not him. So, he doesn't seem to be in the alley right now. We need to go up in the golden rails. Stranger, you look lost. Perhaps I am. I'm looking for a Liana Flema. Speaking, so what do you want? Uh, reindeers like to eat bananas. Wow, you know the password. Well, what is on your mind, stud? I'm looking for Corbin, do you know him? Yeah, of course. He's my coordinator. You know where he is? Yeah, I should be down by Tower 65, scouting for clients. What do you want with him? I just want to talk to him. I see. We heard the latest, uh, so what do you do here? Oh, on this train, you mean? Well, it keeps you warm and the seats are really soft. Some say the rhythm of the train is beneficial for your career. But perhaps the strongest reason is the absence of cops. Uh, latest rumors, no. Uh, there's going to be a large ship in a storm goose arrive at the North Bay in about an hour. You're boring me. Uh, Norwich. Very uh, rarely affected when watching to the streets. Uh, don't want to do the infiltration yet. I want to see if we can get a reaction on those two first. Okay. 
Hi. Well, hello, sir. We just like to eat bananas. Oh, you're one of us. In company at last. How's business? Oh, okay, I guess. As we left alone out here in the streets, we we'll never get to know anything about what goes around anymore. To be honest, I often feel a bit bored just standing here. You want me to give you some inside information? Yeah, sure. Going to be a lot of shipping on stone goods arriving in the North Bay in about an hour. Really? Are you sure about this? Yep. Did you hear this? A friend told me. What friend? Oh, he's a friend to a friend of my cousin. Hmm. Sounds legit. South Bay, you said. North Bay. North Bay? That's what he told me. Thanks for the intel. You hear anything else from the, the, the friend of your friend's cousin? You keep me updated, right? Sure. You have to excuse me. I've got some business to attend to. But I guess it is Corbin then, huh? He seemed a little bit uh, eager. Uh, but how are we? I guess we have to go there then. Good afternoon, sir. Please hold your hand under the scan until you hear the beep. Thank you. Sir, you're not free to enter. Good. We're on a break now. Okay, sorry. Welcome to Toxic Hill, the best trading hub north of the South River. The only bounty exchange west of the eastern border. Where is the business today, sir? Got anything for sale? Yeah, of course. Those keep a prime quality stock ready to be sold. But for the far more interesting question is, what are you we currently buying? The government here on Lyme has declared war on the free traders in this sector. Free traders? Just another name for pirates. They see themselves as free merchants and above all the trade laws of Lyme. They are nothing more than low, low living trash that make life nearly impossible for us honest and hardworking folks. However, this delicate situation has opened up a very lucrative business opportunity for crafty space travelers like yourselves. Really, how so? Let's kill a pirate and salvage his black box. I'll be happy to take them off your hands uh, for a nifty sum. Oh, I see. But the main bounty is for the pirate king himself. Take him down and you will have uh, be a freaking hero around these parts. Okay. Uh, tell me more about the pirate king. You can check the screen next to you. He and his uh, pea brain minions are roaming free in the lower parts of this sector. Here's a hefty bounty for his head. Okay, I would like to trade, sure thing. Let's see what he has. Uh, pieces of gold, shall we sell it?
Why can't I, um... Exit out of this. I can't get out of this uh, menu. Usually, you just have to click out here. Oh. So, I have to click on the lead. I just wonder why I can just click out here as usual. Wanted! Thousand gold! A thousand credits to show. Going back. Hmm. How's business? Oh, okay, I guess. Hmm. I never get to know anything about what goes around. To be honest, I also feel a bit bored just standing. information um, there's going to be yet another large ship in a stolen goods right at the north of bay in about an hour really thanks for information you have to excuse me it's a business attempt to Followed him into the alley, duh. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, no, they didn't they expect the thing. Oh, there we go. Hi again, didn't see you come in here. Well, see you later. Hmm, that was a bit strange. Maybe we should report this to that man in the bar. Have you found any evidence of that pig yet? Um, well, I got Corbin acted a bit strange before. Really? In what way? Well, I told him some made up story about a shipment coming in and he went into the alley right away to make a phone call. Hmm. It's not that strange. But it might be worth looking into, I guess. See if you can re record his phone call or something. Need some real evidence before I can take action. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do then? Uh -huh. The only thing I think we can do right now is that the electric box or something. We need to take the job as a dishwasher or uh, 
kitchen. It has something to do with the... Uh, top of air conditioning generator, perhaps. Didn't be interesting about it. like this yeah see I need to do something about this but let's see about going and uh, work here. Uh... Yeah, I can see you're hiring. I would like to work here. So, what position are you interested in? I want to be a kitchen helper. Okay, then. You're already close. You can use a small dressing room here. Uh... To change clothes. Wow, amazing! He finally hired me a helper. About time. That fancy dress sack of bones at the reception thinks the kitchen runs itself. It's delicious in here. It's a smell of slacking, and it came with you. Where do you think my food preparation skills are best put to use? Taste testing the rat poison, perhaps? <laughs> no, you should do what I tell you to. Get started on the onions. You need a lot of them, so don't stop until I say so. One more thing. Am I allergic to people taking in, taking their own initiatives? They just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. Oh, Twitch been having issues again? They've been doing a lot of changes on Twitch the uh, last few days. Um, I know, what was it? Was it yesterday or two days ago when... It uh, all of um, Twitch uh, EU went down after I uh, streamed and it, it's because they changed something how advertisement is being shown <laughs> so uh, all of Twitch went down for uh, Europe yeah it was down for like two three hours and all because uh, they wanted to change how uh, advertisements are being shown in, in Europe. Hey CJ, how you doing buddy? Good job. Oh, I need more potatoes. Good job. Need to start the chocolate now. Drop what you're doing. Need more onions. Uh, 
I'm tired today. Really tired. But it's better with all this coffee and uh, cookies I've been eating. Good job. I need more potatoes. Good job. I want you to start a chocolate. Be in exchange, or he's just gonna keep this going. Lots of chocolate boxes. Yeah, it's just one of those days. It's such a boring weather outside, you know, it's rain and cloudy. It's like... It is a glass door refrigerator. This one is filled to the brim. Wait, what do you want? Nothing really. What are you doing? More uh, onions. Good job. No need more potatoes. Something I'm supposed to do here. This just goes around and around, but it's like I can't uh, interact with anything. Any more onions? It's like. Yeah, check on the boxes, check the refrigerator. But him doesn't do anything. There must be something we're supposed to do here.
if I can't um, do anything and it's like just to going back and forth. I think that we need something. Hey, don't touch that. Finish your job instead. Like he just going for onions, potatoes, and to the chocolate. It's like, hmm. This is just gonna tell me to go and do the onions. What happens if I go and do the onions? That's it. Only not to do things without my orders. Get out of here. You're fired. Should get back to work. This show was no fun. Can I switch something else? Sorry, sir. Um, I want to quit my job. What? What? Well, all right, then. Please change out of your working clothes. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Okay, so there must be something else we're gonna do then. Um, let's see what he was selling. What on do you have to say? Let's see. Oh wait, this is something you put in. Uh, how much for a listen device? No longer does the 10 sound chip in the detector record every sound within a 10 meter radius. That's like an ordinary microphone then, right? What? Well, I guess so. This is a government edition, there's so much more. Not only records the sounds, it also divides them into separate files and categorizes them with location, type, and time. Nice, you would also get a written transcript of a recording if it catches a dialogue worth reading. Need to paragraph them with the appropriate typeface selection. What do you say? How much? For you? Only 80 credits. I'll take it. Yeah, let's see. Um, find it. Let's check it about the necklace too. How much for a necklace? Track on is worth 35 credits. I'll take it. I'm gonna see. Okay. This might bite me in the ass, but I'm gonna see about him selling the necklace to this guy. There's something to sell. Well, what you got?
There, but let's see. Uh, really? Can't see anything. Excuse me. We're always gonna be able to sell the um, necklace to this guy, though. Would I get it to them? Well, well, well. It looks like the device has recorded something. Push this button, you should write out a transcript of the conversation that took place. There we go. Oh my. That ponytail guy is a cop. So it sounds like he's knee deep in this. What will happen to that poor man when I tell Rog? Sell the uh, listening device to him. You know? I'm just wondering about the necklace, though. Oh, yeah, maybe if I go to him after. Harbor. We found out who the agent is yet? Yes. It's Corbin, the ponytail guy. He reports to his chief by phone in the alley next to Tower 65. Oh, Corbin, you say? That freaking scum? What happened to him? Don't worry about that. We will handle it. Come back to me when you're ready for the third and final assignment. Boasting foreman. What's the third and final task? Well, I need you to reclaim a particular item for me. It was stolen from the organization by a lying, no good thief last year. The scumbag is arriving in town later today, and now I want you to take it back. How about it? Sure. Good answer. His name is. Uh, Gondolis? The rumor on the street says he will check in to Tower 65 shortly. What kind of item do you want me to reclaim? Well, as you say, it's a sub neuroparticle recorder of sorts. In your wrong hands, it can be very dangerous. And his hands are the wrong hands. Damn right it is. Those fast, filthy, chocolate-covered fingers can ruin such a delicate machine. How will I know what the machine looks like? I would describe its appearance as some type of kitchen device, maybe. I don't know. You know when you see it. So, do you have any advice for me? You're new to this burglary business. Well, sure, why not? You know that this fat frack can't stay away from him the sweets. Perhaps you could serve him a dessert a la siesta, if you know what I mean. Then you just go in and snatch the thing from his room. Um, nice, yeah, I know what you mean. Good. And I could also lend you something, something not entirely legal. Sounds shady. Uh, we have at times found ourselves in need of keeping an eye on guests staying at the hotel. So we, develop, so we have developed a simple spy device to assist us with this. 
What is it? You see. Just remember to give it back to me when you're done. Any instructions for me on how to operate these custom made mafia gadgets? Sure, it's dead easy. Just look under the bed in any of the rooms. You will find a small cable with a strange connector. Just plug in the machine and you're good to go. Fine device. Uh, hmm. About seven necklace. I'm gonna Something uh, like an old fashioned vault on the ground next to the body. Looks like it fell out of Agent Coben's pocket. Junk? This must be his wife or loved one. Toro Corbin, if that was your real name, this was not my intent. I shall leave the wall here for someone to find. Oh god, it's the body of the informant Corbin. He shot through the head. Have it done. He's just uh, going for the wallet again. To my son CB, huh? Welcome, sir. Nice to see you again, Mr. Uh, Gondolis. Yes, yes. I hope your trip so far has been satisfactory. Quite so. How nice to hear. I have some urgent and very important business to attend to while here. I'll be in my room for the remainder of my stay. Yes, of course. We have prepared the usual accommodations for you. Good. Also, I would like my regular fast meal delivery service. Would that be your usual fast filled feast? Yes. Splendid. Just call in those orders through the intercom system and the fat, I mean food, will deliver to your door. I hope you won't run out of chocolate this time. Of course not, sir. I promise that will not happen again. This time I have personally prepared the kitchen for your exquisite taste. As long as it's covered in chocolate, I will devour it. Very good, sir. Now, have someone bring my bags to my room. Kitchen, start up chocolate and fountain. Johnny, bring these bags up to, to Mr. Gondolis' room. 
Done it. I'm so sorry, Mr. Gondolis. It looks like I have misplaced my bo bellboy. Hmm. If we just continue up to your room, I'll have someone bring your luggage up ASAP. I'm not leaving luggage on the good man. I have equipment in these bags worth more than your little hotel. Oh my. Here, let's see now. Don't you wait here, Mr. Gondolis. I'm going to investigate what is going on with that stupid bellboy. Sorry about this, sir. Sam, how may I help you today? Uh, I can see you hiring and would like to work here. Uh, want to be a bellboy? Hmm. Really? That is perfect, it is. The former bellboy has gone missing. Very important guest waiting as we speak. Here are you close? Okay, let me just go on. Uh, you slide the key with the matching floor number you desire. Got it. And you have the proper outfit on? Be so kind to help Mr. Gondalis up with his bags. Sure thing, boss. Please inform me that the hotel will not charge him for any of his upcoming meals. Will do. Third floor. There's a lot of baggage. I guess my mission objectives is in the top black one. Oh, great. You come to help me. something else nope oh, just want to wish you a pleasant stay okay then thank you here's something for your trouble thank you sir no problem i need to start unpacking my things a bit tired after all that time arguing with the customer workers you know yeah they're a bit strict with the import rules here Ah, we can say that again. I only had two items with me and both had been cleared a long time ago. Yeah, it took me about half an hour to get them through the customs. Well, I better be going. Have a nice day, sir. Hmm, guess that is the device Mr. Rog is after. I'm to please him and to get my sit down with Mr. Bosman, I need to figure out how to get it. There's a hole in the wall with a sign above it that reads Do not cover this hole, this is an access port for the service security droid to check if you would like some food. Oh, well, I will order my food for the intercom system in the room. I will expect the food drone to deliver it to me. I hope the chocolate foundae is still on the menu. Of course it is. Glad to be now, sorry to have disturbed you. No problem. I would have to excuse my somewhat bad temper, but would you please inform the rest of the staff that I am not to be disturbed? I'm here on a very important business and will not leave the room while here or require any human services. Got it, and again, sorry. Okay. Hmm.
Okay. Uh, Rod told me to look uh, for the connector under the bed. Let's do this. Oh, here it is. It's very odd looking power plug with a cord going in under the bed. This must be what Raj was referring to. Hmm. And boom, 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 boom. So. Uh, well, that doesn't do any good for us, so let's get out of here. Check the next room. Who are you? Hi, I am. Help! Rape! Murder! Oh, wow. Take it easy. I'm no liar. You are here to have your way with me. Okay, old lady. Hey, I'm about to take my nap soon. Better not wake up finding you naked next to me. <laughs> oh, boy. I can assure you. Be gone, evil one. Be gone, I say. I think I better go. Okay. Slide door, slide floor car to go up, press E button to go entrance floor. Hmm. Let's go to number four then, since we are on three. Let's see what we have here. Prepare for security scan. What? This again? You must be joking. Please refrain from moving during scan. Yeah, yeah. Know the drill by now. The scan results in an alarm. Please be still and wait for further action to be executed. Yes, finish it already. Scan complete. All clear. Please continue as before. That was the third time today. Getting really sick with these security checks. Hey man, are you new here? Yeah, I started today. Congrats, pal. I'm Rattle Ray. Why is your given registration, mate? Sorry, registration? Your name? What's your name? Oh, Thomas Wellman. You a big fan of security checks, Mr. Thomas? Uh, no, I guess not. Too bad, hombre. They'll be on you like flies on a turd. Oh, what are they checking for? My money is on uh, stolen property. I never asked. It wouldn't bother me so much if it wasn't for the side business I'm running. And what is that, if I may ask? Let's just say that if you ever feel low and want to fly, Rattle Ray is a guy. So you're a drug dealer. Hey, shield padre. I define myself as a private <laughs> apothecary. I have the party stuff as well as things that take away pain or help you go to sleep in a heartbeat. I help people. Okay then, see you around, Ray. Peace. Clean cart. It was very clean cart. It looks unused, to be honest. Let's exit. Okay. Cleaning supply storage. This wall cabinet is filled with drugs of different kinds. It can't be opened without a key. <coughs> Hey man. Okay, I'm interested in some pharmaceutically related products. Hey, that is great. I'm your man. What kind of product would, uh, would the gentleman be interested in? Uh, you mentioned something about sleep pills. Sure, dreamers. They will knock you out in an instant. 
and they are completely tasteless as well finding it hard to relax yeah maybe so how much are they I'm afraid I'm all out at the moment what you see my stash is all going out this afternoon I'll get a refill later this week though if you're still interested then <clears throat> uh, sleep pills so dream is uh, What the heck? Uh, hmm. What are we gonna do then? We get a refill later this week. Part of the label, nice. But for the moment, that's empty in the party section. Uh, sleep pills. So, yeah, but I want the sauce out. So, well, gotta go then. So, this is a cleaning supply. Let's see if we can become a cleaner. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, it's you. Maybe you should get back to work. Uh, <clears throat> I really feel like I could do a great as a cleaner here. Well, we already have a cleaner here. I grant you, he's useless piece of garbage, eh? But he can't be trusted, but I haven't got the legal reason to fire him. Oh, we need to put the drugs on him, though. Bottom me. What are we gonna do then? <coughs> Cheap necklace on me. can think of what we can do right now is let's see if I put up the spy device there <coughs> see what happens that's the only thing I can see what I can do right now let's see what happens with it Doesn't look too bad, huh? Okay. Left. Ooh, there is a room next door. It is as if the wall just disappeared. Amazing. So we should be able to go and get that Euro box there. Um, 
Brave murder all this again. Hmm, maybe she has. Okay. I think I know what we're gonna do. We are gonna go up and we're gonna frame him. And we had, uh, luckily, we can keep that necklace. But, um. Cleaning cart. Did you get your food? The game. Be blocked at any time. I guess it's an emergency exit. <laughs> Don't touch. Pay for security scan. Oh crap! Please refrain from moving during the scan. Yeah, yeah. No drill. Scan results in a lot of places, but still don't wait for further action PC. Just finish it already. Alarm, alarm! Everyone stay where they are. What are you talking about? <clears throat> don't move your body too much from your body's current location. I mean... What is the problem? What did you sound the alarm? Doesn't matter, just don't move. What's going on here? Hey, what have we done this time? Nothing, I swear. For your sake, I sure hope so. You know very well what happens after the third offense. But, right? Give me the report. Detection of a signature B45 inside this cleaning cart. Origin unknown. What? Oh my ray, that is the blue horse necklace. This belongs to Miss Proudly, number 30. Let me touch that. I'm sorry, Ray, but I have to bring this matter to the director. You know that. <coughs> oh, come on, man. I beg you. Please don't. I'm actually innocent this time. You always are, Ray. You there, bellboy. Eh? You will come down to the lobby with us and act as the second witness of this alarm. Uh, okay. <coughs> sure. Porter brought both you and Ray down to the lobby where he contacted the director of the hotel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Yes, I understand. I will do that right away, sir. Ray? I'm afraid I have to let you go. What? I work here. I live here. My life is here. There's nothing I can do this time. The director was absolutely clear. This is a joke! I will not forget this! Everybody just come back and sue this hotel and everyone in it! Come on, Ray. You know that won't work. There is anything I can? I hate you! Sorry about that. We can get so emotional at moments like this. Anyway, guess the search for yet another cleaning is now official. Okay, so. Yeah, gonna switch to something else. Cleaner. Hey, then. Your clothes. Perfect. Oh, and also, here's the key to the cleaning supply storage on the fourth floor. Bingo. That is actually why I took the job. Sorry? I mean, using cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff from the storage, that is. You ain't snorting the bleach, I hope. Uh, no, I would never. <laughs> Oh, 
Oops. So now... Dun, 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 dun. Time to go and work in the kitchen. Can I switch something else? The yeah, other is okay. I'll be a kitchen helper. Okay, then. Very close. Present room. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Did you really have your back? Well, I hope you have learned to listen this time around. Uh, the hotel currently have a very important chocolate addicted guest staying here. If he's happy, the hotel is happy. If the hotel is happy, I can keep my job and stay happy. You sure you feel happy? Shut up! You're not packing Herbert's uh, chocolate bars for the fondue all morning. When Mr. Gondoli start dropping uh, those orders, we better be ready. Get started on those onions again. Hey, don't touch it. Can you see your... Oh. Let me get there. Get there. Two rounds of onions cutting and two rounds of potatoes. Good job. Need more potatoes. Mm -hmm. Job. Chocolates. Oh my. I refrain from eating this chocolate now. How was that? Nothing, sir. Just making sure the chocolate is even and gets there at the edge you want with uh, chocolate from the. Better not mess it up. So what are you doing? Two more onions. Job, no any more potatoes. I wonder uh, yes wanna see if there comes an order here or not, otherwise I'm just gonna do the kitchen I think. Good job. Hey, I think you're going, you have to go. No, you don't. You're working right now. Sorry, but I have to. You don't bother to come back here anymore. You're fired! <coughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you need to be a bellboy again. 
Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Go with the bellboy again. Hmm. I guess you can have it. Here it close. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Hotel Tower 65. How may I help you? <clears throat> I would like to order something to my room. Okay. Please state your room code. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Hang up. Uh, 15. <clears throat> Okay, please in room code. My room code is 550. It seems to be in order. How? What can I get for you? A what? Like a steak meal, please. Okay. You want that dipped in chocolate? Oh yes, please. Okay then, your order should be right up, sir. Steak dipped in chocolate. Ew. Oh. Com complimentary food. How wonderful. Thank you so much. on this large box here. And a small key. Uh -huh. Oh, another device in here. Very light though. Spare part for the device. This is just the outer body of it. It looks exactly like the real thing. There's a label stating cleared for the lime import export. Oh boy. to spice up their steak. <laughs> okay. I want a flying steak. You know what it means, right? <clears throat> Good afternoon, sir. It's you. No, I want to quit my job. What? All right, then. Are. 
Get a grinder to steak. We got a device yet? Yes. Hand it over then. So, <clears throat> should we give them the real thing or the not the real thing? That's a question here now, though. Question if they find out. Oh, I don't know if I dare to do this, though. Give them the fake one. Here we are. Wow. That's some amazing skills you got there. I was even thinking you could pull this one off. I guess I could send you to my bosses now. Mm -hmm. They're in the penthouse of Tower 65. Here, take the elevator key. I'll notify them that you're on your way. Thief and Deceiver. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Hmm, 2D definitely. Hasn't been in a violence yet. Though there is like space battle. But that's... I'm trying to avoid the uh, space battle <clears throat> as much as possible. I haven't upgraded any other weapons or shields or anything, so I'm trying to avoid that right, right now. We'll see how long we can do that, Not for a standard power cell battery. Note, warning. Do not connect an external power source while the system is already powered. This might cause a power surge and blow the master fuse. Don't have a... Power source at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, I hope the elevator ride was to your satisfaction. Please come over here so that Mr. Bossman can have a good look at you. Hey, it's Jabba the Hut in a smaller form. Boss, this is Captain Thomas and uh, Welma. He has proved himself friendly to our cause. Oh, a friend. Good, good. Do you know who I am? I don't use shadow play, so. <laughs> well, it's good that they fix. They are fixing their stuff, though. I guess you are Mr. Boss Man. That is what they call me, but that is not who I am. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you are. 
I am the king. I am the engine to make this town run. Without me, this godforsaken dump would have been a fishing village at most. I'm sorry to stress the issue, sir, but we should really get down to business. We have the meeting with the group at four, remember? Hmm, right, you are a stripe. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Velma? I was told you had access to the space gate. I really need to get back to Earth as soon as possible. Earth? Yes. Hmm. I heard this Earth planet got itself in a lot of trouble. Isn't that right, Stripe? Yes, sir, that's correct. The entire unit fleet is on route to Earth as to speak. Right. Why would anyone in his right mind want to go there? I have my whole family there. I need to get back to them. I see. I can understand that. So, can you help me? Hmm, help, uh, uh, help is an expensive word, son. Uh, your guy Rog said you might... Rog? He's re referring to Roger Scummerson, sir. One of our friends here in, on Alien Square. I see. Mr. Wellman. You must understand that favors, like everything else in life, have a price. But I thought I had already paid that price by helping Rog. Well, your efforts did grant you a sit-down with me. And if further favors are decided, further costs need to be paid. Right? Please enlighten Mr. Wellman what is expected of him. Yes, right. We are in need of a courier, you see? Someone that cannot be connected to us in any way, if you know what I mean. So you want me to do this uh, to be this courier? You see, boss? Told you we had a bright one here. You would deliver a package to the pieces, pie system. Uh, they currently have the annual exhibition there. And the main attraction is their new upper space prototype engine. This new engine is a huge threat to our interest in the space game. They claim that it's both cleaner and cheaper to send ships with their technology. But in reality, all it will do is make this quadrant politically unstable. Because public business will suffer. And business can never suffer. All you have to do is place a package close to the prototype, activate it and leave. It's nothing really. Anyway. Uh, Tecla here will give you all the details you need to know about the package. Remember. Do this for us and we will grant you a trip to your sector through the space gate. Is it me now? Yes, Tecla. Please miss, uh, bring Mr. Wellman here to date about the package. Right. Come over here to the table, I will show you the package. Hi. Hi. So, let's see. Have you worked with packages before? Yeah, sure, I delivered one earlier today. Oh, great. Then this won't be a problem. First, you will have to place the package close to the upper space prototype. Then, all you have to do is press this trigger. The bomb will then go off and destroy the upper space fabric around it. Wait a minute, the package is a bomb? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would it be? You must be joking. Nope, I'm afraid not. I guess I can take the package then and we will see. I'm not sure I understand. Do you think you, you actually have a choice here? Well, technically Mr. Velma have several choices, but only one of them will keep him breathing. That's what I thought. You mean that I'm forced to do this? Force is such an ugly expression. I would say you are persuaded. Just like me then. So how does the bomb work? It is not actually a bomb as such. It's a kind of a disruptive device. On detonation, it will disrupt the entire upper space fabric in a pretty large area around it. The upper space engine will uh, become completely useless. It is actually perfectly safe to be close to it when it goes off. It won't hurt anything around it but the upper space field. I guess Space Gate Corp doesn't like competition. It's all about political stability, technically. Of course, Mr. Strap. Who are you? See, I'm nobody really. I used to work for this great research company. 
Until Mr. Bossman brought it up, that is. Now, my main research are focused on weapon design and other practical solution related stuff. Couldn't the bomb also disrupt the space gate technology? No, not really. It's an upper space disruptor. The space gate folds lower space. I guess the same technique could be used to disrupt lower space. But this bomb is hard calibrated only to affect upper space. So it is impossible to recalibrate it for lower space. Hmm. Maybe not actually. But it would take a real expert on lower space technology to be able... Please, Techly, let's not bore our carrier with that nonsense. Right. Let's give me the damn bomb then. Sure, you can take it from the table here. We, uh, you will also need this ticket to enter the exhibition where the engine is displayed. Just one little question. How am I supposed to get this package out through the trade borders? That won't be a problem. It's been cleared with the custom depart customs department. Oh, okay. One more thing, Mr. Wellman. Be careful not to get lost during this mission. We can trace the bomb through its specific upper space resonance field. So stick to your path and all will be fine. A clip? Yes, sir. Please escort Captain Velmer down to the lobby. Of course, sir. You better go now, Mr. Velmer. Hmm. The slime, I told you. Didn't recognize him from uh, Star Wars. Do, do, do. Just one thing before we leave. Eh? Notice that you seem to have uh, reservations about using the bomb, right? Yes, it feels like I'm being forced into this. I can totally understand that. You know, there might be another way out of this. Uh, tell me more. Captain, I want you to know I'm taking huge risk trusting you with this. But it's too good an opportunity to miss out on. And you strike me as a righteous man. I'm actually working for the resistance. The resistance? We are a small group working against the, corpor the, the corruption here online. The space gate is the key. It is polluting the fabric of space and politically has only be benefited the rich. Why is this opportunity you mentioned? We actually talked about it inside Bosman's office. I think it would be possible to recalibrate the bomb to affect lower space instead of upper space. This bomb could be then be used to get rid of the space gate once and for all. That would be help uh, help both of us, you know. How would that help me? You don't know? The Libyan government is certainly is letting the Union use the space gate. If it were to collapse, it would dramatically diminish the Union's reinforcements. So you can recalibrate the bomb. No, that job requires a lower space expert. We would need Professor Ippenheimer. He is the chief architect of the next version of the space gate. The only problem is that Mr. Bosman knows his value and is currently keeping him at a secret location. If you help us find him, we can at least offer you an option of what to do with the bomb. Any ideas where to look for uh, Ippenheimer's address? Not really. I know that Mr. Bosman keeps important documents in the safe in his office. But the man never leaves. I think he sleeps behind a desk. Not like he could just turn off the lights and sneak in. Wouldn't I get into trouble with Bosman by recalibrating the bomb? Hey, all they really want is to delay the development of the upper space engine. We don't care how you do it. If you manage that, you might as well save the bomb for us. Just come and see me when you have some information on Ippenheimer. I mostly hang out in the hotel lobby when I get the chance. The bomb.
Okay. 